Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, just want to say thank you to all my uh, subscribers, all the comments on previous videos. And if you're new to the channel, um, welcome and hope you enjoy this video. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just in between. Well, I'm still working on the on the next restoration, but I'm just waiting for the um, paint store to, to open to mix a colour I want. So... Um, I just thought I'd just do another un unboxing for now. Um, I think the next restoration will be out in a in a week or so once I've I've got all that buttoned up and edited. So yeah, and I, I just ran across this one in 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 the collection and thought you know it's it's another nice old vintage kit which you know we don't get to see much of. So and again this one's I believe this is you know. Pretty much as close to mint as you'll find one regarding some box wear and, and stuff like that. But um, so yeah, I mean this is the 1968 Pontiac Bonneville. Uh, this convertible, not the hard top one. Obviously coming coming both for that year. Um, you know it's just a uh, you in the UK just it's very rare that you'll come up with you'll find something like this uh yeah I, this one was listed a couple of years ago and it it went for pretty high money but still you know it still quite affordable uh considering the rarity of the kit but um so yeah i mean we'll just have a quick look around the box out and then we'll open it up we'll lay it out on the table like we we did with the with the last unboxing video but yeah, we've got a nice depiction of the um, custom version. I think this is a, a one-piece glass top and with a trim that goes over the top there. Um, nice rear custom work on this one. Uh, psychedelic auto art decal, apparently. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, I, this is... I think on the box this one only shows... A, the stock and custom versions but it actually it is a three in one version um you get an indicator of that from the from the blown um engine uh now i, th I think this shares the same parts as what was in the likes of the 67 gto for the, the funny car parts with a big scoop and, and other bits and pieces but they obviously they didn't choose to to show that on this box art but yeah just a choice of stock and stock and custom wheels stock and custom uh bucket seats um stock and custom front grills now I, I think you don't actually get a custom front end um like a, a different front end i think they just give you a different grill grill sections to put in in this part here uh chrome rocker panels really nice I mean, I, I love all the glass tops and um, custom roofs and stuff that, you know, like which came in the 65 Impala and other cars of the year, other, you know, annual kits around that time. They always came with some nice custom options. Um, yeah, that's the, the sort of roof bar which goes over that bit. Um, high rise hood bubble, and I think this comes with this, the long scoop, like the funny car version stock and rear um stock and custom steering wheels uh the box on this one's it is a little bit tight but it's you know it's, it's not bad like i say it's got a few folds here and there but yeah it's yeah an old kit so i'm not too precious about that but yeah on the on the other side we just got a yeah, the front end of the, the custom version and rear of the stock. Um, always thought this was a the sixty seven to sixty nine Bonnevilles were some of the nicest ones. I thought I, I always liked that rear tail light design on on the sixty eight especially. Um, I believe this the tooling on this one it started in sixty six and it ran through to 70 um yeah just kept kept changing it all in year by year um but i mean i have a 
original 66 Bonneville here, so that's where the tooling start, started off with. I'll I'll show a bit more on this one in a different video. I actually have a different video lined up for, for this and a couple of others. Um, but yeah, that one's still got the, the funny car windscreen in it. But looks like they didn't do anything else down that down that route. But yeah, so that's where your tooling started off with. Um, then obviously 67, 68, uh, 69, and then that's what that's what we were left with. Um, you know, they run, run like I say they run this tool into to 1970s. So, uh, you know, like all end of lines, you know that's that's why we we still have some of these old kits about, and you know that that tooling served as well over over that duration. But you know, four years for for this one, so. Um, I'm sure you've all seen that before. But yeah, I mean, I think, again, I've probably packaged uh, that to death. So I'll get this all unboxed, laid out on the table. We'll have a bit of a closer look at the parts. See you in a second. So that's all the parts laid out on the table. Um, there was quite a lot to fit into the camera frame. But, you know, if, if any parts are on top of anything else, we're going to go through it all anyway. So... Uh, I mean, I thought I'd start off with these uh, decals. These are your psychedelic art decals, which are included. Uh, very rem reminiscent of the, of the era, but certainly showing their age now and a little bit past best. Um, maybe scamming, but I don't think they've really got much use for anything else. But, you know, they're a part of the original kit, and you know, it's nice to have them within the instructions. Um, so yeah, uh, speaking of instructions, um, slightly yellowed. Um, this one didn't actually have the funny car parts, which I thought it may do, but um, yeah, I think they may may have either not done them for convertibles or you know they they stopped using that them tooling parts, you know, in sixty six, sixty seven after after those years. Um, I won't go through too much detail. I mean, it, we're going to have a look at the parts anyway, but they're, you're pretty much basic um, MPC. Very, very easy to follow, to be quite honest. But it's it's not a it's not a really over detailed kit. You could probably build it without even looking at the instructions. But yeah, it's it's got some nice little pictures in there that are real that are real model. Um, to help you with certain things which you may struggle with. Um, sorry, I'm just knocking my camera there. But, um, so yeah, um, well, I think parts-wise, may as well go in straight away with the with the chrome tree. Um, just have a look through this. So we've got some headlamps there, the stock headlamps, custom headlamps. I think these are your... Uh, that's your custom grill insert. Uh, I don't think the the stock ones plated, um, and that's your rear tail light panel. Got all your uh, rocker panel trims there. Uh, these it's got your eight lug wheels. Um, just use one of these to have a look. bit of a closer look, maybe, but. Um, these are quite a bit different from AMT's offering. To be quite fair, they don't have the, there's not as much deep detail in them. But um, yeah, so so you can you can sort of see the difference between what AMT was using in the in the six five Bonnevilles and what have you. Um, but yeah, all four of those are there. They were just I think they're one of the, one of the few parts which are off the trees on this one. Got some nice chrome reverse wheels. Very similar to the Alicart ones in style, but they are a little bit different. They've got uh, some, it's really hard to pick up, but they do have four vents uh, on the on the rear of the hub on this one. Um, looks like a custom instrument panel, um, some chrome headers. That's your blown motor. And these are your, these are your, uh, stock stock rear rear bumper. 
and that's your stock front panel with with uh, the opening for either the stock or custom inserts in there but yeah really really pretty looking front end and rear end on on these cars like i said it's probably one of my you know late 60s early 70s uh certainly my my era um well say not my era but certainly the where i thought some of the nicest style cars were coming out from but yeah that's pretty much the the chrome tree on that one sold it there in just in case one is uh uh pause the camera or anything but um moving on to the clear parts i've taken i usually have these in bags but just because there's quite a few uh large clear parts before i take them out but yeah that's just your windshield again a little bit a little bit marred up but again no cracks or anything so they'll all polish out but um those are your stock headlamps um custom lower lamps i think they are i think the other ones um like i say i'm, I'm really not wanting to lose these little bits uh you know one of them's on then that's your custom clear hood scoop um we have the custom rear light panel and also your stock height rear eyebrows for those um yeah still mounted on the on the spruce uh, but this is a bit yeah it's all this kind of stuff which i like i mean i don't again i wouldn't this one's too nice almost too nice for me um to want to even start but i think what would prompt me on this one would um you know I usually keep these kind of kits until I find, maybe find a builder and then um, I'd probably build both of them together. I'd, I'd do, the, do the nice one as the stock version and use the rougher one to use all these custom parts. I'm, I just like using as many parts in, if I'm going to break into something like this, I, I want to make it worthwhile. So I'd, yeah, I'd, probably build two or that's why i have a lot of uh, kits which are built stock and custom um from from the built ones i've done because you know i, I do like to to utilize as many parts and i don't want to I, ne I never want to build customs out of these when the when they're as nice as this but you know that that's where my art is and yeah you know, that's the version i'd, I'd want to build out of it so if i can't build that because they're too nice then you know I just won't bother and, until I find a, something a little rougher but um, yeah so yeah very similar to like say what you you got in a lot of these kits in the in the in the mid to late 60s um, but yeah I think that'd probably look nice on the back of there I'm just not too sure how that'll fit never tried it on before but yeah, just to give you a rough idea of how how that sits on there. But yeah, and then you can put your put the roll bar over if, if you wanted to. But anyway, moving on. Um we'll start with the chassis on this one. Um separate separate um exhaust and, and rear axle on this one, but you know it's it's pretty typical. It's still a it's still an axle, um, a through axle in the front, uh, through axle in the rear, and uh, just your holes for holes for your, your screws in there. Not too sure whether these holes in here. Uh, let me just have a look at that. Yeah, they're they're for the exhaust mounts, but. Um, so yeah, there's there's not a great deal of detail in that, you know, just very typical of the of the era. Um, now them funny car parts I was talking about, that sort of that's a, a part of what you because the funny car versions you got in in some of these, you know, you, your seat would basically um, glue straight to the to the base, and all your funny car parts would. It was a very poor poor funny car. Um, version to be fair but 
you know these were just kids ties kids ties back in the day they weren't meant for for growing adults like us um but yeah i, I can't remember whether the engine sits a little bit further back or i think actually i think they just stay in the same but yeah that was just just because i saw that then i thought i'd uh show what that part's for um it was either that was either for the seat or from for something else with the funny car parts but he'll move on um you got convertible boots um stock seats i'll just pick up this one because it might be easier to show you uh yeah just some lap belts molded in there um striped stock pattern your custom seats just your custom buckets this is the um separate suspension um rear rear axle sorry and your exhaust but yeah not not a great deal deal of detail but you know it's, it's better than picking them out off the off when they're molded into the chassis so it was it was a little bit of an improvement um let's have a look so on this one we've got um i'm assuming the rear trailer mount um or push bar i think this i think in that picture in the instructions would probably tell me exactly where it was and if i bothered to look at it first and you know uh, i wouldn't be scratching my head now but you know, i'm assuming it'll either be some form of push bar or, or trailer mount for that um you get a separate transmission on this one um just your carburetors and your uh, fan belt and your rocker covers uh rocker covers what am i on about uh, cylinder heads um so yeah just the engine obviously like i said the transmission's separate on this one so just a simple two half construction doesn't look like there's a great deal of detail on either of those bits to be quite honest with you um oil pan and yeah i just got some other engine parts here i will show you them um close to the camera but yeah there's not a, a great deal to show to be quite honest with you um that's your stock front grille and um, they did think not to to plate this so yeah you could just make out the, the bonneville script in the grill there still it's you know quite vague to be quite honest with you to say it was a uh, but you know they, they they're literally just changing the tool from year from year to to keep up with manufacturers year models so uh, yeah you can't you can't have everything can you i think you know when you think they've got a pretty much start retooling every single year it's not like cars of today where you have a facelift every facelift every few years and but they're still using the same pretty much the same body shells and everything so um just far standard yeah far standard wheel backs um that's the roof I'd, I'd call it a roof roll bar or something like that but yeah that's um what you can use with the glass top there so uh, uh we've just got custom rear roll pan if we can get that to focus a little bit more but on this one like i said the, there's really no custom parts for the front except from some separate grill inserts so that's your, your stock or your custom uh, front roll pan dashboard if we, again if we, if we get that to focus yeah that it's not it's not overly deep detail but you know I've, I've seen a lot better but you know you can I'm either I'm trying to look through the camera and underneath the camera to see if I can pick out anything. But yeah, it's, it's very faint in there. But yeah, like I said, it, it's basically a toy button, and uh, I'm certainly not moaning about that. 
Uh, just got the car support. Some moulded in, moulded in horns and the wiring for those um, back the back of the parts quite bare. I'm assuming just like some mounting for for something else in there. I've just got a standard standard radiator, shroud cover, and. Yeah, the battery is quite detailed actually. There's some quite quite strong detail points in there. So, um, just got the stock hood. Again, really not a great deal underneath. Bit of a grubby mark on there, but yeah, that's just your hold to to cut for. Your, using that other hood scoop um but again yeah like i say there's 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 no engraving or anything underneath there at all you got some injection marks and yeah it's holding on it's just literally pins which drop down into that body there um interior tub actually it's like the detail on this is it's really it, Compared to the rest of the lacquer detail, I mean, it's it's not great in there, but and the camera is really struggling to pick it up. To to be quite honest with you, but you know, it did like so so a million a million times to myself. You know, it's just a you know, it's just a a sixties interior top. I mean, I, I don't really know what you what else you'd expect to be fair, but I'm gonna put that down just because it's dim yet and not focusing. Um, yeah, the screws in the axles, just two screws hold down this base and then you glue the front. Uh, I'm not taking them out of the back again. Um, and your nice MPC white band tyres. Um, I did like the MPC tyres, they, they were, they always had a lot of detail on them. Um, these are good years, but yeah, they're a Quite a bit more chunky than what AMT AMT were putting out in the day. Um, but yeah, the, like I say, I, I always did like the the MPC uh, late sixties and seventies size. That they're, they're yeah, the the detail enough to to look good on anything really. So um, and then we might as well have a look at the the main body. So. Yeah, I mean, it, I do wish this was, wasn't was a convertible, to be fair, if I was to have one, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, and, um, yeah, it, I mean, it's just a really nice body, is that. Um, the emblems are, are really strong on this. If, again, I'm really struggling with this. I think it's because there's so many bits I've had to move the camera away. Um quite quite far so it is struggling to to get the actual part close to the to the camera but yeah i mean you probably not see from there but you know it has got really nice bonneville scripts on the actual body compared to to the grill parts and, and the dashboard but, but yeah on this one frames uh wind, windshield frames absolutely mint on it um all the sun visors still in place. It does almost look a little bit wavy this body. You know, it's um, uh, maybe it's the light showing showing down on it, but yeah, just a, a really nice, a really nice design is that, and and this, this one is a, a hard kit to come by. So I'm, I'm certainly not grumbling that it's the, the convertible. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll find another one and then we can build two together. But in the meantime, that's um, God, that's what I mean. Though. There's a, you can tell through the years, through them tooling years, they were just doing what they could to to keep up with the next body style because it's really it's almost really thick in there. It looks like the inside of a of a resin body 
almost you know behind these almost starts behind the, where the firewall goes that that side's not as bad but yeah you could certainly see there's a a lot of material in there to be quite honest with you but but yeah um so i think we'll wrap this one up to be quite honest i've rambled on enough it's another 20 minutes gone of your life but um like i say i hope you've had a a great christmas and new year period um i think i'm welcoming january 2022 on i think it's the third yeah the first thing i have to do is be in a be in a sports center at eight o'clock in the morning for a speed awareness course so i'm really looking forward to that um but the good thing about that it's quite close to the to the paint uh the sort of body and paint supply place i go to this, uh you know as soon as i wrap up there i'll just take take the motor down there and and pick up the paint for the next restoration project so uh, yeah I, I know these um my videos are a little long-winded and what have you but um and i've not quite found me found my comfortable place yet but you know um i thought while we're while we're waiting for for bits and pieces on other restorations i'd, I'd do another un unboxing um i think next video one next videos is i've got some I've got some a big box of resin parts which I, I bought from the states four years ago and they asked i've still not looked at them, any of them um we we don't get resin parts over here and there was a, a not a massive lot but you know it's a a good couple of kit boxes full of full of old stuff um older resin parts and you know i think i might if you're interested in that i might go through that with you um i think there's some old 69 68 satellite hoods and i've mainly bought them for some police car stuff but there, there are other bits in there which i think which we could sort of work into other projects uh um like i say one of the next videos might be that is it will be an unboxing so to speak and it's just me rambling through a, a box of stuff i've had sitting in unchecked for the for the last four years so uh, um but yeah if you've enjoyed this video or you know you think it's it's a channel where you know you can see progression with it and you know the content's not too bad then please um like share and subscribe again thank you to everybody who's watched um my previous videos and and subscribe and commented but yeah, I think um, we may have one more video before the next restoration, which, like I say, I'm hoping to have out sort of around next weekend time. But um, until then, I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye for now.